right, so look. I was just doing some scrolling and look at the stats on this BJ Penn, y'all. Y'all know what to do, man. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's your boy, Jaren Ranks. Look, I got another UFC 5 gameplay for y'all boys. And this one is interesting man, because I had no idea that BJ Penn's stats were actually good like this. I didn't take the time to look. As you guys know, like this game is not that great at all, to be honest. It's one of the worst if I'm being real here. But look, because I haven't been looking through the fighter's stats, um, especially these old school fighters because in the older UFC or UFC 4 I think BJ Penn they you know guys like him they didn't have the actual BJ Penn with his you know his high stats they had him with the current stats when he was old and just really worn down not not good um so this is the prime BJ Penn right here guys and um, you know I'm just instantly making sure I'm fighting with logic not even on the feet guys but just in the MMA fight the logic for the you know standing on the feet and the boxing striking is not there so you know he threw the kick i caught the kick walk him to the cage get a takedown you know what i mean like i'm not gonna sit here and try to land punches off that kick um it's just not worth it in the long term uh i'm still trying to like in this match i was trying to figure out bj penn right there as you see me get hurt i'm trying to sway my head i'm trying to get out the way look how he's just swaying like a maniac true true idiot um which I'm gonna to try to keep exposing these idiots online to the best of my ability, even though it's very difficult. I'm trying to land counter shots. You can see right there, we're just having an exchange. Um, and these people are always interesting guys because they don't usually have a setup. They're just pretty much spamming. You can see I'm not in range for him right there, but he's just going crazy spamming. You see me, I'm on the back foot fighting smart. I check a kick, throw a left hook, trying to throw a one, two, um, jumping out the way, just trying to stay out of range overall as we get a great knock i ain't gonna lie we we almost knocked them out right there this, this should have been the end of the fight this should have been the end of the fight but look look what happens guys look look how bad this game is you can literally hurt somebody on the feet drop them go for the finish and end up getting fully reversed into a half guard or full mount how fake is that very fake and very very stupid and this has been in the game for like what the past two years or so or not the past two years the past two ufcs which is ufc4 and ufc5 now it goes to show that the game is under you know underdeveloped once again because that's just not a realistic thing at all um, but we're back on the feet again um once again i was able to hit you know hit him with that nice rear head kick because he's not setting anything up guys he's fighting wild he's not looking what i'm doing he's pretty much fighting like a maniac um and i'm able to capitalize off that but once again, guys, the one thing I like about UFC 5, though, you can see who's obviously the better player, right? You're able to see that one guy may be block breaking. The other guy may actually be good. Um, and that's how it is with me 98% of the time. When I'm in a match with someone, either they're block breaking me or I'm just outsmarting them. Either or. It's not one or the other. It's either or. Either I'm outsmarting them or I'm just getting block broken. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm not coming on this game to fight like an absolute maniac, even though I could I know how to throw combinations. I can walk forward and make it a, a bloodbath and just say, okay, who's gonna land first? But I don't want to, I don't want to have 50-50 fights because of me. As I get a knockdown right there. I want them to force 50-50 fights. And then from there, hey, if you're forcing a 50-50 fight and I'm playing more smart, I'm gonna rely on trying to be more smart nine times out of ten. Now, for the idiots that are running around thinking that this game is in a good state because oh they learn how to block break you guys are idiots and none of you guys are never gonna grow you want to know why you're never gonna grow because you have a flawed mindset if you had any common sense you'd want the game to be in its best state right so people can show who's really the most skilled player right then we end up getting more viewers more people to buy the game and then as a result we all grow so just because you're able to master a game that's bad you want to be selfish dummy don't be like that if the game was in a good state and we weren't able to, people weren't able to block break and we act, you know, skill actually mattered, more people would buy it, right? The sales would be higher, views would be higher, um, there would be a higher demand for the game, and it just, it would just be better for everybody, guys. So, you see right here, guys, I just, listen, I just use BJ Penn to literally outsmart this guy from start to finish. I mean, I outsmarted him from start to finish. He had nothing to offer for me. BJ Penn's a monster though, guys. He's a monster. Um, he has, I think his, his punching speed is like a 96. So you're gonna end up, you know, outsmarting and beating a lot of people because even if someone's trying to block break you, if you're countering and you're being smart and you're staying out of range, you'll be able to actually land before they do. 
Um, and one thing that always works, guys, to stop block breaking, not fully stop it, but kind of put it to a halt a bit, is when you're landing that straight. Um, if you're in a southpaw position, you're landing that straight with triangle, or no, from square. And then if you're in an orthodox position, you're landing the um, straight with with uh, with triangle. So yeah, landing the straight on them hurts them a lot, and it'll change it, you know the results of the fight. But guys, that's BJ Penn. Um, let me know what you think about BJ Penn in the comment section down below. Uh, in terms of this gameplay, have you guys used him yet? I think he might be one of the better welterweights in the entire game, to be honest. Like, he, he has everything that you need, um, except switch stance, right? If someone does come out and they actually attack his leg, like they throw le a lot of leg kicks early on, it could make things weird. His switch stance is like an 80. So, you know, if he has to end up fighting out of the opposite stance, it would probably be, be you know, probably be a bad situation. So the fight played out the way it should have. He got all smarted and I dominated him. If you guys enjoyed this video with BJ Penn, Let's get this video to 10 likes and I'll keep it coming for y'all. Keep the UFC 5 videos coming for y'all. Give me the 10 likes and I'll catch y'all boys in the next video, man. Peace. Gang, they cannot do it like him. Uh, uh -huh.